Hello, my name is Si Wei Boon and I'm 10 years old. So what do you know about robots? Robots help us do dangerous stuff. What kind of robot would you make for yourself? They're like a human type of robots and it can have jetpacks jet jet pack and missiles so it can fly me. I'm going to bring you to see the robot now. Are you excited? Yes! Hello Weibun, welcome to Robotics Hello. Lab. Wow. My name is Albertus. I'm a robotics scientist from ASTAR. Today we will uh, introduce you to some of the robots that we have here. So these are a collection of robots that we built in ASTAR. This is uh, Olivia, one of our first robots. This robot is able to make a connection with the guest using a hand gesture. Who's that? Yubo is able to walk around and look at the surrounding uh, using the sensor. Do you create like any robots that like, are sent on missions? Missions, yes. So each robot that we build uh, have a purpose. As a receptionist or a service robot or as a helper or as a companion. Can you guess what's coming? He's uh. approaching me. He's really creepy. <laughs> what is that? Let me introduce you to Matar. So Matar is a robot uh, jointly developed with the home team science and technology. So Matar has some sensor that is used uh, like an eye to see the surrounding. He can even see in the dark, sensing your body heat. Night vision. Uh, thermal vision, yes. Yes, and then he also has some uh, microphone array to listen to the uh, surrounding. He also has LiDAR. LiDAR stands for Light uh, Detection and Ranging. So it's using a light wave to detect obstacles. Matar is able to construct a full uh, 3D map of the environment where he is placed. So what's the coolest thing that Matar can do? Right, let's have a look. Seriously, a drone? Yes. Wow. Hi, Weibun. I'm Koming. I'm the voice behind the robot Mata. How do you think the robot is meant to be used? I still can't imagine how this robot can be used in missions. So have you attended a major event before? Like a National Day Parade, um, Year End uh, Countdown, Chingay, for example. Yep. I guess you have seen uh, officers patrolling on the ground, um, making sure everything is safe. So the robot with its 360 degree cameras is actually to provide that additional um, eyes on the ground. So what is the drone used for? So the drone gives it the ability to have an aerial view to see what's going on around it. Bird's eye view? Exactly. Uh, what is your opinion on the use of Matar? Weibun, do you think Matar is useful? Yes. What type of uh, operations do you think Matar is most suited for? Um, for like if it's here, then if someone is like over here, it can if it's it said help, then Matar can come. So Matar is uh, best suited for performing tasks that are the 3Ds, uh, demanding, dull and dangerous. So demanding as in, for example, officers have to patrol 24-7 at area because of certain major events. So having a robot there can help to elevate that uh, task. So that one is dull. After some time, if you keep looking at the same screen or monitor a certain surveillance uh, picture, it gets a teensy, wincy, boring. Boring. Okay. So the last thing is dangerous. Um, sometimes uh, when officers approach uh, anomaly, and the officers may get tired and doze off. <laughs> no, no, no. They are always very on the alert. That's also that can be dangerous. So with a robot, it can actually help to protect our officers. Do you feel scared of the Mata or do you feel safer with it? I think we feel safer with it. Uh, Weibun, today we have looked into different robots that we have built previously. And all of these uh, technologies come together in order to create useful robots. Are you interested to learn more about robotics after today? Yes. yes. To see more amazing robots like Mata, check out the other episodes of Ask an Expert. Bye!